So we're in January now, we've got 90 million to spend. Let's go and get the cash out and get some new players. Un, deux, trois. Dans les campagnes, Murgir, c'est force soldat. Hello and welcome back to the money bag today. We're at home to Dion and then we are away to league leaders Olympic Lyonnais and they're a game that we need to win both these games importantly. Now of course if you look at the date here 16th of January it's the January transfer window now so we've got to make some deals because as you can see up here we've got some injuries into our squad which aren't great but before we get on to that let's have a look at what's happened since we last here. Uh, last time you're here we drew both our games nil nil against um, Rene and uh, Kn or I still don't know how you pronounce it. Since then, only three games. We played uh, Aglo in the in the French Cup ninth round. That's the first round we enter. In. It's a ninth round, which is which seems, seems a bit extreme to me. But a nine 0 win there. Um, they're very far down the leagues. I think so. It is comfortable. Uh, we then beat Toulouse four one in Coupe de la Ligue, the quarter final. So that was nice. Cavani and Angel Di Maria scoring. Uh, getting braces in those games and then we played FC Nantes once again and only just managed a 3-2 win our performance was more comfortable than the scoreline suggests so I'm not too worried about that but we definitely had some lapses at the back there uh, especially because we've got some injuries I think it was in the Toulouse game or was it the Aglo game uh, the Aglo game that uh, Danny Alves picked up a three-month injury um, he's out for a long time and because we've got no right backs we had to bring someone else in so We've got a deal on the table for one right back coming in. In fact, I should be able to tell you it now, actually. I think it's just waiting contracts here. It's Mario from Villarreal. Um, the only issue that we've got at the moment is that we can't sign players who have already played in the Champions League, else we can't use them. So we've got to look elsewhere. So we're sort of limited in where we can look for players. So Mario is going to be coming in um, as long as he accepts his contract for a, a hefty sum of £29 million, but that was his release fee clause. It's kind of what the best we could do outside of Champions League players. So... We've overpaid a little bit, but I guess it's all right because we've got a lot of money, so it's not too bad. We have made one signing already. Uh, Jean-Michael Seri has come in from Nice for £10 million. We did try to sign him back in the summer transfer window, but at the time it was between uh, him and Nine Golan. But now we've got him for less, I think, I'm sure it was about £17 million we agreed for him in summer, but now it's down to £10 million, So that's pretty decent, to be fair. He's come in he's coming as, an, as a backup, essentially, really, but... I think it's a pretty good move for him and a good move for us. He's our third best central midfielder. He fits in perfectly, especially in positions that we need him for. So I'm very, very happy with that transfer. If we look at our current injuries, though, uh, we're missing some very key players. Motta is kind of a backup player, but Alves, uh, Ariola, the goalkeeper, and Marquinhos all missing out. Uh, Marquinhos should be back in a few days' time, but Danny Alves out for three months and Ariola out for another two months. Uh, we've looked at goalkeepers, but really there's no one we can bring in realistically that's going to improve the squad, anything. So we've got Kevin Trapp, who's just as good. So he's playing at the moment, but... I'm a little bit torn at the moment because we've only got the one goalkeeper. Um, I'm looking to get another centre back in at some point because we don't. We're a little bit weak at the back, I suppose. Um, this right back coming in is going to strengthen things a little bit, but I'd like another centre back in there just to cement things. So we'll look at that as well. And I'd quite like another striker as well to come as backup for Cavani because outside of Cavani, we've got Mbappe, but he's more of a winger. So we need a proper striker to be backup. Having a look though, if we look for for strikers though. This is where it gets a little bit tricky though because we don't have many scouted out uh, and the ones we do have scouted out are essentially Champions League players that we can't use if we get you know, an injury to Kouani in the in the Champions League. Uh, and outside these top ones, the kind of players that we're looking at aren't great if we look at these kind of things. So I've got lots of players on scouting at the moment but we'll have to just see what happens. If we uh, clear this and look at defenders instead, there's a few I have in mind. Um, central defenders, okay. There's a few, obviously, that we can't bring in because they play Champions League for football and they have done. But Van Dijk is a player that I'm interested in, so we're going to put an offer in on him. Although, actually, it says he's injured right there. Um, how long is he injured for? Because that would be quite bad. He's out for two two weeks or so. That's not too bad. We can bring him in. Uh, we'll make an offer for him of apparently £73 million. I'm not sure. We Maybe we try to do something in summer. I'm not too sure about that. He's translated upon request. That's probably it, then. He's probably got an asking price of £73 million. That is too much for me. I'm not paying that kind of money. Laporte, though, is a player that I do want. Currently, Athletic Bilbao, French guy, ball playing defender, slots in perfectly. So, we're going to make an offer for him as well. Uh, he's valued at 48 million. So, we're going to put this up to 55. Suggest that. Maybe that would be a good deal, but we'll just have to wait and see. 
Service of the side, then we've got taken on Dion today. Um, it's some decent sides. We've got Kevin Trapp and goal, uh, Kazawa, Thiago Silva, Kimpembe, and the, the youngster Dagba playing at right back. This is why we need a better right back because uh, he's the next best one we've got and he's rubbish. Uh, Nangan and Verratti sit in the middle there. They are two starting guys. And then we've got Neymar, Mata, and Di Maria across that attacking midfield trio with Cavani starting up front today. Right, so kickoff is now upon us. Dion are kicking off. We're kicking left to right. And. It's a very, very dark pitch. I've noticed this quite a lot. I don't know if it's just some sort of lighting issues within the game engine, but all these pitches are very, very dark now. They've gone from being super bright to very dark, so maybe when the full game is released, there'll be a bit of a in the middle there, and it might just be perfect then. Cavani on the ball then as he comes forward, but it gets tackled at the last second. Now Saeed is on the ball for, for Dion as they start to come forward. Tavares on the ball now, trying to... Force a move now, R.D. on. They're trying to get through uh, Xerxes, or that's a bit of a complicated name to say. X is always very hard to pronounce, uh, but Tavaras comes forward and Trap is forced to make a decent save there. And as the commentary says there, how did he manage to miss? Just put it either side of the goalkeeper and he would have scored that, I think. Well, really nothing happening in this first half at all, and everyone on our side not playing well at all. When Cavani doesn't play well, he really doesn't play well. He's on a 6.5 right now. Um, hopefully, it will change very quickly. He'll grab a goal and then that'll be it. He'll be on fire for the rest of the game, but... As things stand, we're not on the attack. It's uh, Dion that are coming forward now on this left-hand side. Xerxes has got the ball, played through to Saeed. Saeed got a chance to cross it now, puts it in, but Kevin Trapp's there to collect it, although he just pushes it away. And uh, Thiago still manages to remove the danger there, and that was a very dangerous move there for Dion. <laughs> right, half-time, and a very familiar feeling if you were here last episode, where we've not managed to score yet. Uh, aggressively, I'm not happy with your performance out there. They all look fired up, apart from Neymar. Like... He's just a dickhead, if I'm being honest with you. He just is a prick. He doesn't play well. He never reacts to me. Quite frankly, he's not worth 200 million, in my opinion, from what I've seen in this. So so I'm not very happy with Neymar, unless he scores this free kick here, uh, which he doesn't. So I'm still cross with him. Um, I had a great career with him. It was in FM12. I played with Santos in Brazil, where he was still there. And he was great for me then. I do remember it, because I had him and Ganso. That was really good. As Di Maria scores from... A very weird angle. I guess the goalkeeper sort of palmed it in the back of the net there. But we've gone one the luck with Di Maria. But as I was saying, Neymar, FM12 was really, really good. Him and Ganso. But on this, I'm just not impressed. In fact, I'm so not impressed, I'm going to take him off the pitch for Julian Draxler, who is subject to bids from Real Madrid of all teams. Uh, Real Madrid bid £47 million for him, but we rejected it. Uh, he was very cross with me, and I said he can go for £60 million. So if Real Madrid come in with £60 million, then I'm afraid Drax is going, but until then, he's going to be staying as a PSG player. I'm not very comfortable with this, only 1-0. I really don't like that. I want to be 2 or 3 nil up because I just feel like a 90th minute goal is coming for Dion. Uh, we've got a call now, Di Maria puts it in, um, really to no one, if we're being honest there. Thiago Silva, though, picks up the clearance, uh, which is a poor clearance, really. He had so much time on the ball to do something with it, but he just headed it straight to... To Thiago Silva, Mata now through to Draxler, Draxler into the middle, hit a clear though, Verratti out back towards Mata, Mata tackled though, and now, as I was saying, Dion have a chance to come forward now, but Kazawa makes a great tackle there, now we're back on top now, Mata with plenty of room to come forward, plays it to Di Maria, Di Maria out to Dagbo, he's got so much room to put across in, and Cavani's header was turned away the goalkeeper brilliantly there, if that had with any other goalkeeper, I reckon Cavani was scoring that. The corner coming in once again, uh, cleared away again. Verratti now with a chance to pass to Nine Golan out to Di Maria. Di Maria's ball into the middle, but not a very good one, unfortunately. I think another change now is in order. Uh, Verratti not played brilliant and looking very complacent. So we'll bring on uh, Michael Seri. He can do that. And I reckon we bring Yuri on as well for, for Kazawa because Kazawa's looking nervous and a little bit tired and not playing brilliantly. So they're the changes that we'll make for this game and hopefully. We'll grab another goal. It's not been a convincing display in terms of scoreline. I think the stats seem to suggest that it was quite convincing as Thiago Silva makes it 2-0. As I say, we weren't very convincing. 2-0 uh, now, Thiago Silva assisted by Cavani. That's decent. But if you look at these stats, we have actually been very, very dominant. We just weren't very good at turning these opportunities into actual results on the pitch, I suppose. I mean, a 2-0 win, we're still three points, but I would have preferred to get a couple more goals today. I think we probably deserve that from the stats. Nine goal, and they're looking to try and grab another goal at the end of this game, shoots from distance. Very poor goal, though. Kevin Trapp then on the ball, has a chance to punt it upfield, and that probably is going to be the last bit of the game, and it was. It was the last kick of the game. Full time now, PSG 2, Dion 0. Not the most convincing scoreline, but I think what we didn't see was very convincing from us. I think it was a solid display, so I'm pretty happy with that. We all look delighted. I'll say we all look delighted. A couple of us look delighted, including Neymar for a change. Right, contract now for Laporte. Let's negotiate this. 
Let's make him a key player. He'll want that. He's incredibly interested. Uh, existing contract is 100, 170,000 per week. Jeez. Uh, 175,000 over four, three years suggests that he wants a lot. He contracts are a little bit harder this time because usually when that kind of thing happened, I just put the initial things in and they'd say, "Yeah, this is what I want," and you could negotiate quite a bit. I get very, very scared with this. So, ah, uh, he wants a four-year deal. That's fine. Um, can we take out anything here? I'm a bit scared too, if we're honest. Let's move this down to. Just two hundred thousand pound a week. Suggest that he's not happy. He's not happy with that at all. We've messed it up with Laporte. Oh well, we'll just have to go again another time. Right here we go then. Mario, twenty nine million is about to come in from Villarreal. We'll accept that bid, and finally we've got a decent right back in who we can uh, can take Dani Alves's place while he's on the sidelines. I think they're just as good as each other. And to be fair, Dani Alves is not getting any younger. He's nearly thirty five now, so. This will probably be the long-term replacement for, for Dani Alves. Well, that's Mata to welcome to the club because they're both Spanish, obviously. So, uh, Juan Mata, as, a, as an influential player, can come in and say, welcome to the team, and he's very happy to do that. So, that's nice. Hopefully, they'll have a nice little social group there. We've got the odd Spanish player. We've got, you know, two or three now, I think. So, this will be quite good for Mario. So, we're going to build the side now for the game coming up. And then, after that, we're going to do the pre-match briefing as well. So, we need to register Mario first and foremost. Um, we'll just auto-select him in. Uh, confirm that selection he's in the squad uh, let's go back Mario in the squad then let's put him on the pitch then instead of this guy because we just need him to he's he's a full back but not so much on attack more on support but we'll leave him on attack anyway because that's what we like to play uh, Kimpembe and Thiago Silva can stay there as far as I'm aware um, I do want to bring on Mbappe for Di Maria just to give you know Mbappe a little run I know Di Maria scored last game but Di Maria and Mbappe sort of rotate quite a bit now uh, because Di Maria wants more game time, so we have to sort of do it. I mean, we could potentially bring Seri on for, for Verratti. Let's start that because Verratti is a little bit tired. Maybe bring Draxler on for Neymar because he didn't play very well last game. But other than that, I think that's a decent side to start against uh, Leon. Therefore, then, let's go to the uh, the pre-match briefing and handle this. So we'll talk to the team. We'll play this formation. Uh, we'll go with that today. And the uh, little reaction, brilliant. Um, Mario's making his debut. Let's make it a strong debut for him today. Little reaction to that. Uh, control mentality, please. Let's uh, that gives the best chance to win today. Little reaction uh, from the squad for that. Wow. I mean, I'll hand the rest to my assistant. See what he does. Um, and they've not reacted to anything he said either. So maybe they're just bored of me. Maybe that's the issue. And so kick off now in this huge game against Leon. Obviously, they're top of the table. Um, did I even show you the table? I don't even know if I did. If I'm honest with you, but uh, Monaco. Are still, in fact, everyone is still yet to play. This is the only game kicking off, so it doesn't make it that interesting. But as you can see, we're still behind Leon, uh, and we're level on points now as Monaco. But technically, we are one point behind them because um, we're playing now and we're drawing. So we're still at a point behind both Monaco and Leon. But a win today will take us ahead of Leon, and hopefully Monaco slip up, and then we can do something about it. <clears throat> I'm very rubbish at this. I, I'm I'm so crap at showing you the table because I don't really look at it myself either. I don't feel a need to be looking at it until the final 15 games of service season. I think it's all, it also stems from being used to just being top of the league by a long way with, with Roma. That's usually what we did towards the end of FM17. We're always at the top of the table by a long way, so I never really have to look at it too much. But I do need to remember to just show you it now because it is very important now. Mbappe on the ball there on this right-hand side, puts it into middle, and it's clear by Thomas Partey. And now Leon have a chance to come forward. Memphis Depay on the ball, plays it up towards uh, Mariano, who's been tackled by Mario. That's going to be an interesting partnership there. Mario and Mariano. La Celso, who's on loan at Leon from us, actually. Um, if you remember him from perhaps the first episode or so, he sort of played with a little bit. But uh, he's out on loan there now. And Mariano has come forward and scored the goal for Leon. Not what we wanted. Leon coming forward again now. Mariano on it once again, but his, uh, his pass is intercepted, though. But Ferry can put the ball through to Memphis, who puts it into Mariano again. And in under 10 minutes, we're 2-0 down. I mean, this is not what we expected, if we're being honest here. Uh, I was expecting it to be a close game, but we'd have the upper hand. I was not expecting us to be 2-0 down within 10 minutes. Something's got to change. Nine goal on the ball now. The first highlight for us by looks of things, uh, or the first proper highlight. Mbappe cutting inside, playing it to nine goal, and nine goal and shot from the edge of the area, and it's a corner kick. Lopez makes a decent save there. Otherwise, that was going right into the top of the net. Leon coming forward with the ball now. Fekker plays it forward to Mariano. Oh, that's an interesting name, isn't it? Fekker. What a great name. Memphis, though, with plenty of space. Plenty of to Marcel with even more space. Mariano's been put through and he nearly makes himself a hat-trick. How are we so bad? 
what is going on here? Mario on the ball then through to Mata. Uh, Mbappe on the edge of the area puts it in and Lopez makes another decent save. We're getting the chances in. We're just not challenging quite enough. We're lacking that last little finishing product. Series corner comes in and it's headed clear. And now Raphael can, uh, can clear it away for Leon. I think though if we've not grabbed a goal by 55 minutes we're going to go to overload straight away uh, and as that is coming very very soon it's about to happen right up to overload then we've got to do something about this we're really really not playing very well um, tactics wise let's take some players off let's get Drexler off because he's not played well um, let's get him off for Neymar Seri and Nangona are not doing great I guess we bring on Verratti for Seri because Verratti can create some chances there and Kazawa's not played well as well, so Yuri's going to come on for him as well. And hopefully, these three changes, a bit risky to make them all at the same time, but hopefully they'll do something. I mean, if we don't win here today, we've got our backs up against the wall to try and get the league title because we'll be four points behind Leon at this rate. And that's that's a lot to do, especially when these teams are so good as Ferry makes it 3-0. How are we so bad this game? I mean, I don't even find it surprising. Like, we have just won two cup games. 9-0 and 4-1. Um, we then had a bit of a rocky game against uh, Nates. 3-2. We had a decent game last time out, I suppose, didn't we? But we're now 4-0 down. Jesus Christ, what is happening to us? I mean, we already are embarrassed this game. You know, it's already an embarrassing scoreline. But I feel like they're going to get some more goals and that's going to be the worst. Cavani now, coming forward on the ball. Puts it through to Mata. Mata to Mbappe and Mbappe gets one back we're suddenly back in this now um which is a complete lie because we're not back in this we're going to demand more from the players though and um, hopefully something happens ferry on the ball once again for leon they're still coming forward trying to embarrass us Lo Celso, the player we've got on loan there who is you know not good enough for our first team but it's clearly good enough for leon and to leon to beat us not very good either way their move ended up with a shot wide but it's just frustrating this now I mean, I'm not only am I frustrated, but uh, so is Neymar, Verratti, and Thiago Silva, who's very frustrated, actually. He, he, he keeps switching between frustrated, very frustrated, and furious. It's quite funny, actually, watching it. He's now frustrated, looking frustrated, and um, he'll be furious in the minute, I bet. Leon, on the ball once again. It shows he scores! Excuse me. I'm trying to make a video here. If you want to be useful, you can come and commentate. I'm currently losing 4-1. It's not very good. I've got to include it in the video because they're about to score. They're literally about to I release really a shot. I he shoots, he scores. He shoots, oh, he misses. He, that was close, to be fair. It wasn't, wasn't far off. With five minutes to go, we're 4-1 down. Mm. What would you suggest we do? We've made all our subs. Here are the tactics. What do we do? A fake an injury. A fake an injury, right. Um... Harm everyone on the opposition. Harm everyone on the opposition. Okay. And leave one player to. Um, we shoot. can do that. We can we can put in, uh, get stuck in. What else did you say? Sorry. Um, fake an injury. Oh, I don't. I don't think we can actually do that in the game, unfortunately. Um, and then leave one guy to score. Leave one guy to score. Yes. Um. So hurt everyone. Yeah, you said that several <laughs> times. I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit worried that you said that so much. So they can't play. Yeah. Okay. And then shoot. Right. Well, let's see if this works then. Ow! Stop trying to pop my spots. To be fair, this could work actually. As Mata puts the ball in towards Cavani, and Cavani's gone and scored a goal. So clearly, your your tactics have, have hurt them and uh, and put more strikers on. Seems seems to have worked. Um, saying that though, it's not changed up here. Apparently it was disallowed. I mean, I didn't see the thing that said disallowed, but it was a disallowed goal. So, there we go. Get a uh, streaker to come on the pitch. Get a streaker to come on the pitch. And disrupt the match. And disrupt the match. That, that'll be... That, that might work, I don't know. So, with a good five seconds on the clock, I don't think we're going to be scoring three or four goals to get anything out of this it. game. There's no tactic we can use, I'm get afraid. Get a new football manager. Get, get a new manager. That is absolutely disrespectful. I'm not having that. You're going to have to leave now, I'm afraid. I'm kicking you out if you're going to say things like that. Right, well, not exactly the result we would have wanted. Where does that leave us? In fact, we'll just swim forward to make sure everyone else plays. Cause I think we're the only kickoff or something like that. I don't know, because no one else seems to be playing then, did they? So if we just swim forward for uh, the rest of the day... The other fixtures will come through and we'll see the damage on the table. So it wasn't that bad, I suppose, looking at this. We're only four points behind Leon now. Um, obviously, we could have been two points ahead. Monaco is still yet to play, though, so it could be worse. They, you know, they could go a few points ahead of us in a couple of games' time. So 
not the best going forward with this. Hopefully we'll make a few signings though in time for the uh, next episode because um, I think we're going to need them at this rate. Looking down at the schedule here, I think the next episode is probably going to be Man City and, and Strasbourg. I think that's probably the next thing we're going to do for Champions League, obviously. So join me next time for when we play Man City. <laughs> so join me next time then when we're playing Man City and Strasbourg. Can you stop poking my spots, please? Tell them to like and subscribe on my channel. <sighs> like and subscribe because he shows me how many subscribers he's got each day and he'll cry if he doesn't get any more. <laughs> You don't want to see me cry, so listen to her.